we should be any second now are we yes we are hello everybody welcome back to the channel and today we're back on Warhammer 3 we're finishing off the Tyrian campaign hopefully that's the plan for today finish off the short victory I don't think it'll take us too long to be fair that's why I've come on a little bit later otherwise I probably would have started a bit earlier if it was going to take me a while so uh, yeah one sec it's not showing me his life it showed me his life was there we go all right yeah it's working now that's fine what are you doing mate there we go yeah so <laughs> we're going to continue Tyrion's campaign hopefully be able to finish it I reckon we can because at the end of the day Malekith's our last <laughs> the last one we need to kill really or defeat um, and Tyrion has already proven he can basically one man army most of them so here's what it is I reckon we're fine and I reckon the next campaign I do <laughs> will either be an Empire one or probably a Lariel if I'm being honest because I was looking at Alarials and look well looking at Alarials the longest part about it is the um, destroy loot sack whatever the 30 settlements that's the longest part of Alarials campaign <laughs> the three factions she has to destroy Attain destroys one of them most of the time nine times out of ten Attain manages to kill all of them pretty quick the other two I could probably kill in about 25 30 turns if that because <laughs> literally the only um, the faction she has to destroy is this one here uh, these and the one that we fought down here the cult of excess or whatever those three are the only ones she needs to defeat and that's what once we've done that it'll be one two three four five six seven eight nine possibly 10 straight off the bat settlements out of the 30 and then we can just come to war with these lot up here to be fair if we need if need be who's this all right for a second i thought it was rakarth i was like why is he up here but yeah um by the time we defeat nagarond this will be well and truly done because we need to loot raise our sacks six more settlements this isn't even nagarond i don't even know who you are um, I think they have about, yeah, they have 10 settlements, so we'll have four extra, <coughs> which is fine. Um, I need him to heal fast, and then you need to get ready. Part of me wants to send Alistair up here and Tyrion this way, but I just don't want to go toe to toe with both of these armies at once with only one uh, general, and he's not even got a, um, what are they called? the bloody mages he's not even got one of these so it's got to be a little bit annoying let's see i'm just thinking which one we should grab to be fair that's probably not a bad one i'm gonna get her and i'm gonna start trying to move her up for Tyr up to Tyrion. can't get there apparently all right that's fine we'll move her like here and then we'll just go through on our own it doesn't really matter <laughs> get burning head because that'll be the most overpowered one for now. Um, what are these? Who are these against? I think these were against the uh, <laughs> this guy, but he's gone now. Luckily, we <coughs> Illyrian we've confederated. We're trying to get Avalon, and then I, I reckon it'll be just be like pretty fast snowball from there because we'll finish off clearing out Ulf one just so we're protected over here. And then we could just take out the majority of these lot. <coughs> um, what else can we do? Really, I, I need a noble for him as well, but it's going to take me a while to get a noble up there. Oh, I forgot I had an army there as well. Um, noble. We will grab a noble. Same thing. We're going to send it to Tyrion. Uh, yeah, Blade Master. if there's anything else what I can't remember what it is used to they, well they replenish troops apparently so I don't really care for a law master right now so that's fine um, yeah I reckon we're just gonna carry on <laughs> end the turn off but I wouldn't be surprised if these came to try and attack us they won't be able to get us next turn but I would not be surprised if they tried to <laughs> Tyrion should be fine though I mean he can he proved last time he 1v1 Malekith and then wiped out pretty much the whole army on his own. 
he had like a little bit of help from his mage, but obviously she's not there, so we can't really do anything. <coughs> um, ideally, I need. Oh, they're not going to be able to um, upgrade fast enough because I don't have all of them. Like if I had that, it'd be pretty easy. I could get to the um, Sisters of Avalon thing over here as well, and then try and fill these armies with them. But it's not going to work. Two more turns on this. Um, part of me wants to grab that because then we can use this as a little bit of a staging ground. We'll we'll try that in a second. We'll see what happens. If if she takes it back, it is what it is. But we'll see. <coughs> Do we still have? No, we, I don't think we've had that enabled for a while, have we? No, that's fine then. We'll end that turn. Nope, wrong button. End that turn off. Skip into the next one. It's just a hop, skip, and a jump away. Oh, bloody hell! <laughs> oh, I'm fuming about college on Monday. Worst feeling ever. <laughs> I forgot about this army. I'm not helping you. Because now them two armies are damaged anyway, so <laughs> he'll be able to do a little bit of extra damage a bit easier. Yeah, look how they run away. Yeah, run you little sausage. Yeah, look, they're all doing a runner. <laughs> oh my god, they're out of range now, so we can pick the armies off one at a time. Give it a go, it's going to drop massively in it. Ah, not as bad as I thought. And we can get a couple of them back. Not too many, but a couple. Hello. Hello, D. Hi. 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 I'm fine here. Yeah, okay. Streaming. Am I streaming now, D? I'm just there uh, talking to myself. Hi, guys. <laughs> Hi, guys. Oh, I gotta go again. I just kind of had to come up for something, so I just thought oh, I'd say hi. Oh, right, no worries. Yeah. yeah. We're going to try to finish off that faction there as well. Yeah, stressing me out. Why is it still not working? No worries. No, it's just stressing me out. I've got to deal with three phones to set one up and it's really just stressing me why, out. Why, is it, why have you got to deal it's with... taking it. Why have you got to deal with so many just to do one? Exactly. That's my point. Because what the new one's doing is sending everything to my old, old phone. Uh -huh. And then to transfer my information from the one I'm using to this new one, I've got to use that one. So essentially, I'm dealing with three phones at the same time, and it's just taking the mix. <laughs> Bloody hell. Essentially. Sounds like it is. Like, let me do it. Like, no. I know. No. Yeah, oh, I found out that number. Yeah. It's actually my old number it's sent into. That is no longer in use. Oh, right. That's a bit annoying, isn't it? Yeah. I know, but it's alright, I managed to get to, I, managed, I connected it and just the house by yeah. it, so hopefully it should get cold and then thaw it out. <laughs> no worries then. Oh, it's stressing me out. Anyway, you enjoy your stream. Thank hopefully you. Hopefully you can finish what you're doing. Hopefully, I mean, I've only got like 10 settlements to take, it all depends on whether my armies hold out long enough. Hopefully. So, see what yeah. happens. Yeah, I know. On. You enjoy. Gracias. And enjoy watching everyone. Okay. And I will be. Hopefully, I'll be back soon. I don't even know how long these are gonna be. Yeah. No worries, love. Ugh. Take yeah. your time. Might, Might pop in and out. Sweet. Go on. See you soon. See you soon. What news? Um. Yeah. Let's <laughs> carry on building these armies up. <coughs> really, if uh these aren't upgrading enough man if I had these a bit more upgraded I'd be able to instead of having Lothurn as the only place I can dish large armies out I could have one of these if we take control of this obviously it's not that much closer to where it needs to be but it's, it's slightly closer than that that makes a little bit of a difference um, <laughs> I'm actually gonna make peace with you I'll make peace there we go uh, <clears throat> All that means is I can focus on securing this so they're not gonna. We can beat the rebellion back and then we can send this army straight up here and start taking these. Because I don't know if these armies are gonna be able to punch through very fast. Because they've got two armies coming in. And 
he is nowhere near as beefy as Tyrion. So I don't really think we're gonna be able to hold very well. <laughs> um, can I take that off you? What's it called? That. How much would ah? Idiot. <laughs> the thing is, I could smoke this faction, but I'm currently at war with these. Really, I should have probably held out, going to war with these, let these two armies build up, <laughs> and then consolidate over here and moved up another army or two. Only problem with that would have been, he would have eventually declared war on me, and then I would have only had my two armies here, he would have had about four. So I kind of needed to take out one or two armies as fast as I could. Imminent rebellion, it's fine, we'll sort that out when it happens. <laughs> Bit more into growth. Any factions want to do anything here? No, oh, that's fine then. Maybe spend a bit more on this on of this on you. There we go. Get a little bit of higher. Um, what's it called? Reputation? No. Uh, relationship? Crap. I don't know what it's called. Where is it? How like how friendly they are with me and stuff. This relations. I couldn't think of the word. I'll be real. It was on like the tip of my tongue. It wasn't, but I'm gonna say it was. Uh, recruit Lawmaster of Haworth. Defeat the following army. Enter a military and... Yeah, I don't really care for that. What does this really do for me? Hero cost, not that much really. It helps out if I, if I use them, but I don't really use them when I play as high elves. I probably should, but... CBA, let's end that turn. I don't even know what turn we're on right now. And then I'm going to try and compare it to see what, <coughs> um, oh yeah, look, <laughs> what we get, um, what we did with Altharian. I'm going to do that. Reason being, <laughs> I don't know if I'm beating that on my own. <laughs> How did Tyrion not support that? Is it because of the stances in a summit? He might be in a mustering. Probably should have put him in encamped. If they're significantly weaker than us, though, I'm gonna attack with that army and try and finish this this one off. That little army there's a little bit bogged down for now. Let's build that. <coughs> there we go. Finish that off. And now I'm gonna get him over here so we can heal. That's going down bit by bit. There we go. Um, we'll move him a little bit closer to him. What are you? Yeah. I'm going to keep the, this guy here. No, that's not going to work for a while. Get them just in case. And can I encamp both of you? Yes, I can. Um, Ivress. What can I get from you? Can't get any of them, which is a bit annoying. They were the ones I kind of wanted to go for. <laughs> um... Get more of them. That's fine. And then can I encamp you as well? Yeah. <laughs> we can't do this. Oh yeah, it's because it's full. Can only get one. Don't have enough uh, points with her. So we'll go for... Since we're waiting two turns anyway, might as well get one of them. Get another dragon in there. Make things a little bit easier for us. <laughs> um... Vanguard deployment, more leadership. No, I can't. But that's we don't need that right now. I think I just want to try and make him as bulky or similarly bulky to Tyrion, because <coughs> then we'll actually be able to do things with him. Are they at war? Yeah, brilliant. They're all going to war right now. Us. <laughs> She's probably gonna just get pushed straight up. To be fair. Um, actually, is there anything here that I, I would actually need? Not really. Not in this army at least. I'm gonna send her up this way. Can I try and get... No. No chance mate. <laughs> I reckon we actually try and um, increase relations with these. Just a bit as well. Still doesn't want to confederate. She probably won't for a while because we're just getting weaker and weaker in this war that we're in. Um. 
So that'll take him one turn to get there. <coughs> I could force march him, we'll force march him. <laughs> we'll get there next turn. And then I reckon he'll need probably about two, three turns to fully heal. And then we can just send him straight in after that part. Uh, yeah. <coughs> Alright, let's get... Where are they? Carry on sending these two up. Because I'm not going to lie, I think they're going to be quite... Um, helpful if we actually get them up here. <coughs> the issue is they've got a second army here somewhere and I just don't want that army coming and slapping this one a new one. Or like attacking before we're actually ready. I think the only way is if they attack Tyrion first because if we can get Tyrion on the field first I think we should be fine. Because I mean he's full health now. Almost. But he's essentially full health. And he beats every single one of these in a one, like, on his own, really, I reckon. <laughs> I'd say his biggest weakness is Archer's. <coughs> Here we go. Uh, I don't like the fact that he's first to get hit. And it's Malekith this time. I could retreat him and just have Tyrion fight. <laughs> but I don't know if that's smart. No, actually, yeah, we're going to hold out with this one, and then when Tyrion comes, we'll just slap him. Because I'll be real, Tyrion will clean him up. I just don't want to lose this army, and I don't want to lose Alistair, because he's... Well, for one, he's on a dragon. Makes things easier. <laughs> and he's a, he's a decent legend, legendary lord, and I don't want to lose this army, because then we'll only have Tyrion. And even though, yes, he is a one-man army, with an army, <laughs> he, it's still... I don't want to lose him either. Because then I think if he gets too, like, bunkered down in somewhere, and they just send, like, three armies, like, we lose Tyrion, it's just GG's at that point. <laughs> they can cross over this bit, innit? Yeah, they can. So, I reckon, <laughs> get an archer line here, a very thin one, apparently. Sisters of Avalon here. These lot in the front. These on the side. These two on the side as well. We're going to use these how they're meant to be used. <coughs> he can't fly, so we've got a, we've got a. He doesn't have the dragon yet, so we've got a little bit of a bonus there. But they've got a lot of archers. That's the only problem we've got right now with them. They have a lot of archers. I just don't want to lose any of my guys. Especially not him. Once they start clashing though, I think we'll be alright. Because <laughs> I can use that ability. I can never time them, so I, just, I don't even try. God. Yeah, them harpies are hitting us hard already. That unit's gone. <laughs> we just need to make sure we don't just completely route. There we go. Alright, Tyrion's here. We, yeah, we're good. I'll be real, we're good. Tyrion's just going to absolutely smoke the rest of them. I'm going to send that there, try and... No, I didn't time it right. Complete the best. Uh, bit annoying. Yep, completely. Completely and utterly missed. <laughs> try and get rid of them. Come on, fire. We need, we need you to start shooting, please. Tyrion needs to try and kill Malekith, and then they'll start routing anyway. And you know what? Might as well throw one of them down there. Do a bit of damage. Hit them. <laughs> Send them there. I'm actually going to pull him far away, because he will die. And that's the last thing I actually want right now. Let's just hope I can actually do enough damage to the army with the archers. There we go, Tyrion, um, Malekith's gone. That's essentially an easy win for us at that point. So that's fine. Um, start hitting these. Do damage to them. Yeah, Tyrion's coming in hot. I don't know why that... There we go. Why wasn't that going down? I don't even know. Let's go and try and help our arch out a bit. 
Ideally, we need Tyrion stuck in a stack. If we can get him stuck in a stack, that's best case scenario. Because he can literally just... No, he's not going to be able to move from there. Can you attack them, please? He's having a couple difficulties with functioning. Focus them down. Tyrion can carry on with them. We'll bring Alistair over. I don't know what they're doing. I was trying to move him slightly out of the way, but it's not going to work anyway. It's fine. There we go. You keep fighting there. Pull Alistair away. <laughs> Once again, last thing we want is him dying. <laughs> Tyrion's going to need to rebuild his army all over again. But we'll live with it, I guess. Can I hit him with it? He's just going to move out of the way, isn't he? Idiot. <coughs> Let's try to at least break these lot. They're all essentially just running to their demise now. Because they're all just going to get absolutely smoked by Tyrion. <laughs> Imagine Tyrion loses here. I'm just here bigging him up the whole time. He just gets absolutely like slapped. <laughs> they all just absolutely backhand him in his face. Yeah, everything's retreated except for Tyrion and Alistair. Alistair! Are they firing at him? No. <clears throat> Try and kill that guy. Maybe charge Alistair in once or twice. A little bit of extra um, <laughs> morale penalty for them. Loki think Tyrion might be dying. There we go. That's a lot of damage. Yeah, they're all breaking. The majority of them are breaking now. I'm going to send him away. Keep on... T let Tyrion keep fighting. <coughs> Do the same cycling. <coughs> Just try to keep hitting them as much as we can. Try and damage that morale a bunch. He didn't do what I wanted him to there, but it's fine. I kind of want him to fly in because it does a bit more. I think it does a bit more in terms of morale. There we go. <laughs> Let Tyrion carry on hitting them. They're firing at him. <coughs> they're starting to break, I believe. Yeah, they're starting to break. That's fine. You start attacking them. There we go, they're running. Get Alistair to run away. Actually, you can go chase them down. Because they're going to start trying to go after Tyrion. Last thing we want. <coughs> yeah, one on one Tyrion's smoking him completely. No chance. Yeah, they're all breaking now. A large majority of them are breaking. Oh, God. Nope, don't want you turning there. Thank you. Thank you. Leave him alone. There we go. Yep, we won. Sorted. Just barely. God damn. <coughs> Tyrion was getting low there, to be fair. Uh, for a second, didn't think he was winning. I don't think Alistair's arm is alive. Looking at it, I think they're all dead. Worst thing we could have done is lost that noble. That noble was like the best thing ever. He just, com he just completely changed the game. Because we don't really replenish much up in this area. <laughs> when we had that noble though, we were replenishing like we were just sitting in a town. Just for walking around. Kind of annoying though that we don't even replenish inside towns up here. <laughs> the only way I could really do it is if I retreated everyone back down towards Ulf 1. But then the problem with that is <laughs> the Malachis just going to take more more and more land and get bigger and bigger. Last thing that we want. Take them captive. <clears throat> Alright, here we go. Malachis, I think he's been defeated once again, to be fair. I might chase these down with Tyrion. 
just to try and finish it off, depending on how much they've got and stuff. Because I know Tyrion's going to be pretty damn low. So yeah, he's about half health. Not that bad. <laughs> uh, no, I can't send Tyrion. He's uh, still recruiting troops. What else can I get? Get them. And then we'll also get this guy. There we go. Uh, Alistar. Army not looking too good, to be fair. I'm going to move him back a bit. Because I, I feel like Tyrion can hold his own a little bit better than he can. <laughs> um, We'll do that because he gets chewed apart by uh, missiles. <coughs> One more of them. Spam out a couple of them. Let's actually see those as well. Can I get... I can. Um, get them archers just to help out a little bit. Same as these. And actually, I've just realised I should be able to do the same with you. Possibly. No, because we've already got the max number. That's fine then. <laughs> Alright, we need them to... He's not even bloody uh, healing. One sec. I'm going to send him back here. Because <laughs> they're like not healing at all. There we go. He's still going to take ages, but it's better than nothing. Um, One of them. One of them. And then spam out archers for the rest of it. <coughs> to be fair, one more turn and Tyrion, turn and Tyrion will be alright. It's just that these lot won't be very helpful. Let's merge them for now. Yeah, look, he's 16. That's fine, though. We'll be able to actually do stuff with that. It's not too, too bad. Maybe get one more of them. <laughs> Are we better off with you? Nope, you still hate us. That's fine. <coughs> Start sending her up this way. Gigalian, I think this is, yeah. Try and get him healed up fully and then, to be fair, I reckon about two force march turns and we'll be fine. We'll be over there ready to fight. Anything here? Nope, don't look like it, that's fine. Uh, who was that other one we were at war with? There was someone else. Oh, they're, mi they're miles away though, they don't really affect me right now. They might one day though, so I do need to be careful. Let's do that. I'm thinking of maybe making another army down here. Actually, we we own this bit now, don't we? Let's we can change this to extra local recruitment uh, place. Uh, we'll get resistant, I think. Yeah, we'll get resistant. <coughs> Sword player. Yeah, I'd add a bit more to leadership. <coughs> Again, army of these. <coughs> and that'll be fine, because we'll be able to just send that straight up and try and get a bit of extra damage in. I don't know what happened to my voice there. <coughs> but yeah, um, this Tyrion, yeah, a bit more elven healing. <laughs> Means he'll heal that little bit faster. It is hotter than Vaughn's forge. This is really annoying, this. It only says minus 15% though. So I don't understand why... <coughs> he can't do anything. Oh, actually no, it's because he's not in the settlement. Okay, that makes sense. Kind of. <coughs> but yeah, there's not much else we can really do. It's just about waiting now. We've just got to try and wait. The <laughs> issue is he... Takes slanesh corruption everywhere he goes. <laughs> what are these? Norska. Alright, that's fine. We're gonna, um. <coughs> We're gonna end that turn again. We just. We need to break through that point there. Or at least hold them while one of the armies goes north. I just don't. While Tyrion's army is so weak, I don't want to leave him just bogged down there with nothing else. I'd rather actually hold with both, but 
That's why we're trying to make that third army, and that's why she, um, this army here, is trying to push up there as fast as she can. Did I put you in force march? I should actually put you in force march. My only fear with that was if um, she came across an army from the Dark Hills, but should be fine. <laughs> He's a little bit better off, to be fair. <coughs> we can take that one now. As long as that's the only army around here. And I reckon that's that's the best thing we can do right now anyway. Oh wait, we've got oh we've got our mage back. Okay. We now nah, we're good, we're good, we're good. We're completely good. <laughs> if we've got her back as well, we're sorted. They can't really do much to us, I'll be honest. Um I'm gonna assume the noble died then. I'm gonna do that because I'm gonna do this. Not three, just two. There we go. And then now you can recruit the rest. <laughs> Here we go. Um, what else should we do? Miss Casper's chance minus fifteen percent. That's a shout. <coughs> but yeah, we actually have our mage back now, which is good. Which really means we didn't really we didn't actually need this fire mage, but we'll bring her anyway. She's like an she's a welcome bonus. <coughs> Will you heal on the way? That's the question. You're not in your territory, so likely is no. <coughs> so I think I'm gonna I'm gonna let him regenerate over the next turn. Cause yeah, we'll, the next turn we'll start moving because majority of them will be ready. Unless we do, a part of me wants to wait two turns to get the useful health, because they are one of the bigger. I'm not waiting three turns, but two I might. We'll see. That's fine. Yeah, Tyrion should be fine now anyway. Now that we've got our mage back, we should be all good. What's his health looking like? Oh, it's a little bit low. The mountain takes toll. Yeah, that's a bit of a problem. Now that I'm looking at it, of the it should be all right though. I'd, like, it shouldn't be too too bad. <laughs> uh, we'll go for that. I could upgrade these, but they're just bare expensive. See what else we can do. I'm probably gonna save the rest to be fair. I'm not gonna spend it just yet. I reckon <laughs> once this second army is fully built, well, this new army is fully built, she'll be a lot closer to joining us. I'm, I can't do that. I'm j I'm not in a place to be fighting against Lanesh right now. Even though they're an easy, in my eyes, an easy faction to take out, especially with Alariel. I'm not, most of my armies are far northeast, uh, northwest even, so <laughs> I'm better off not getting involved in that. Because then I'd have to make an, another army or two just to come around here and defeat them. And she's fine, look, she's perfectly fine. <laughs> she's honestly doing fine. They've got two, three settlements between the two factions. They don't have a strong enough army to really stop us. She's got two full armies and then like a th another army just over there. Sh she'll be fine. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're going to wait one more turn with you. There we go. <coughs> They've actually moved out of here and now we can use this to hold. You know what? I'll take. I'm going to actually just take it anyway. I don't really care. <laughs> I'll take I'll take that damage. That that one unit isn't that important to me. I'll be honest. <coughs> Let's do this for now. That unit will probably get disbanded anyway when these lot come around. But we're gonna we're gonna still give it a wee go. Don't tell me they have to go all the way over there just to get on land. Oh, you do, don't you? Nah, don't take the mech. Oh, that's really annoying. Really, really annoying that. So you can't just hop on land here, seriously. That's annoying. Oh well. It's going to take slightly longer, but it is what it is. You, 
yeah, one more turn and we'll be fine with you. Yep, I know, I understand. <laughs> You've got a couple more turns, you'll be ready. These two aren't looking too good, to be fair. Um, yeah, we should be good though, I'll be honest. Now that now that we've got a little bit of a foothold here, I don't think there's much stopping us. Because Giggly and Giggle Iron is just going to take this and then this. Alistar is going to start moving up here whenever he's ready. And then Tyrion can just rip through there as much as he can. I, wa I want to make sure Tyrion's the one who takes Nag Nagarond. I think that'll be uh, poetic. Quite poetic. And this army will literally be here in like, what, two more turns and it'll be up here. That's the third army running around. Well, by the time the all of these start moving, four armies running up here. So, that won't be too bad. Um... Who's this? Yeah, I'll give I'll give you that. That's not very nice, is it, you tat? Um. <laughs> yeah, we've we've weakened Nagaron quite a bit. Just, like just off them couple battles, we've just absolutely demolished that bloody meter. They've still got nine settlements, so so we've still got quite a bit of work ahead of us. Should be fine though. Hexwattle, as always, stupidly strong. All the other high elves are weak. Well, except for Alario's actually doing decent at 19, to be fair. <laughs> Who's number like 1 and 2? That's what I want to know. I'm going to assume it'll be. It's either going to be Clan Moors, Grimgore, wherever he is, he's over here somewhere, um, Greasus, or one of the Cathayan factions. Imagine Imric's number 1, that, that'd be crazy. That'd be actual like, blasphemy. I'm not even going to lie to you. Uh, can I like make you pay me a bunch of money? No, you're not gonna do it. You make you won't even give me one. <laughs> it's BS. I just wanted to extort a weaker faction. I thought that was uh, how being a king in this game worked. It's <laughs> how it worked in bloody medieval too. I was playing medieval too before I got bored. Decided to just download it and start playing it again. I really, really hate the bloody map, the controls. Because it makes me use the bloody up, down, left, right arrows. Join war against it. Part of me is tempted to do it for the money. Because at the end of the day... Yeah, go on. They're not really going to attack me. I mean, they've got to deal with Alariel, so And Alariel will probably wipe them out in the next turn or two. So that'll be fine. <laughs> and then hopefully she'll start receding in terms of power. Because her armies, she won't have as much use for her armies. Or she'll get attacked by someone like Bellacore. Bellacore's kind of annoying, like, when I play as him, he's really poo, but then, when I don't, when I played my, um, sisters of my Avalon play, um, campaign once, he literally didn't show up for the first, like, 20 turns, I didn't, like, 20, 30 turns he was up here, I started pushing off into this direction, he comes around here with, like, six bloody tribes of Norsk with him, and I was just like, well, what do I do, so I had to bloody make, like, 20 different armies, um, Winds of Magic are extra. I might actually go for the Winds of Magic. I feel like that helps me just a little bit more. Uh, you'll be done in, what, three turns? That's fine. <laughs> Upgrade that. <laughs> You've got two more. Um, you can literally start moving now. I wield the wind. <laughs> there we go. We'll start sending this one up as well. <laughs> as long as they don't start a war with us, I'm fine. If they start a war with us, it's going to be a little bit annoying. It won't really be an issue, it'll just be annoying. I just can't be bothered with it. And actually, I wouldn't mind going, I wouldn't mind being um, military allies with Alario, because then I can sort of just control her to attack wherever I want, and I can literally wipe these factions out one after the other. Um, alright, let's see. So, he's still moving up. Part of me's tempted to start... Yeah, I'm going to start moving Tyrion. <laughs> There's no point waiting just yet. We're going to try and take this army out. Because that army is a decent threat. We're going to stop that because, let's be real, that's not going to be too hard to take. <laughs> there you go. He's only got 15, but it's fine. Yeah, it's literally got 5. It's Garrison's 5, so we should be fine. Um... You carry on there. 
you guys come up here. They'll end up meeting Tyrion when he's all the way over here anyway, so it's fine. Uh, have you got any... One sec, actually. <laughs> Put these here, just to try and protect it a bit more. Vampiric corruption, do 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 do. Alright, well that, that should be fine for a while anyway. That's, that is what it is. Yeah, alright, sweet. <coughs> Malachi's gonna get backhanded too, I'm gonna be honest with you. End that turn off. Oh, I'll keep having to stand up because my legs start hurting. Because of that bloody four and a half hour stream yesterday, it's like proper messed my legs up. They haven't stretched properly still. Bit of bloody neck pain and back pain from it. Because my chair's like. It's comfortable if you're doing like a two, three hour gaming session, but after that, it's just, it's a bit ridiculous. It starts hurting, which to be fair, I don't think they're really built for, well, they are gaming chairs, but I don't know if they're really built for sitting in 24 seven or for like stupidly long periods of time. You probably expect it to move a little bit. <coughs> Here we go, start moving this here. Actually, we'll send you up this way. I'm gonna actually hold him here. I'm not gonna go the full way just yet. Just in case uh, Malakith sat up here with an army somewhere in Nagarond. <laughs> There's that. Let's um, start sending Alistar. Hopefully he'll be able to take all of that. <laughs> You're pretty useless for now, but it's fine. <laughs> Send you this way. She'll probably end up taking this. Because I'm going to take that with Tyrion and then come around for um, Nagarond. Um... <laughs> Carry on moving you guys. Even though, to be fair, I reckon the campaign will be over by the time they get there. But it's fine. We got anyone else? Not really. <laughs> they still don't want to bloody confederate. I'm not going to lie, when when um, I'm done with this entire like short victory with Tyrion, <laughs> I'm probably just going to play as in for a while, try and like world dominate. Even though I feel like it'd be, I feel like it's easier to world dominate as a Lariel. I don't know why. She just, well, it's it's a bit annoying with all high elves. I can't lie though, high elves are one of them. They're <laughs> when you're playing Warhammer, they're fun to first play as, but once you start, once you get into like you like fifth, sixth campaign as them, gets annoying. <laughs> I don't even do them in a row. Like I I take a while with my campaigns, so I'll do like. I'll do like a high elf campaign, then I'll get bored and be like, and I'll do like the the long victory. <laughs> I'll get bored and just be like, oh, okay, we'll go to a beastman one, and then I'll go to a beastman one, and I'll have more fun with the beastman one because they're different. Because all of Warhammer Two, I don't think I played as anyone other than Tyrion in Warhammer Two. I'm not even gonna lie. Tyrion and Imric, I think they were the only ones I really played as. The greatest. The greatest. Continue siege. What army is that there? Oh, Malekith's back, and he's got a pretty decent army. To be fair to him, that's like one of the strongest armies he's had had um, as of yet, as of now. <coughs> Take that with him. I think I'm gonna hold him here for a while though, because I don't I don't want Malekith coming in, attacking him. Uh, we're gonna retreat from this battle. I'm not actually gonna attack that. I'm gonna hold here somewhere. <laughs> You're gonna take this. I think I'm actually gonna send you down that way. What's this? Rampage charge bonus? Yeah, I'll give that to you. <coughs> uh, do that. We'll put a wall here. Is there any corruption? There's a little bit of corruption, but not much. It shouldn't really affect us that bad. <coughs> Start doing that. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep you. I'm gonna start moving you further up here. I don't really want to separate them too much. He should be able to take that. Um, what can we do? <laughs> Valor of Ages. Why not? <coughs> They're defensive ally um, allies, but I think they became that after we started a war with Malekith. Because if it was beforehand, we would have been at war with them as well, which would have been annoying. Because I would have been trying to focus on bloody Malekith and they would have been slapping me in the backside. <coughs> Alright, um... You still not willing? No. It's getting, like, further and further away. You know what, actually? <laughs> not a bad shout. Not a bad shout. 
Can I get you to join the war against Nagarond? No, I cannot. Never mind. I was going to say if I could, that would be ideal. Short Malekith. She's getting stronger, which is kind of annoying because that's going to mean she's less likely to actually um, confederate. <laughs> the only way I compete with that is if I just start building these stupid amounts of armies. But I don't want to completely bankrupt myself as of yet. <coughs> when will this be done? Literally. No, it's going to take a while for that. I think this one, this one's closer. <laughs> um, alright, that's fine. Temple of Cain and crap, okay. <coughs> yeah, I think I'm going to... I don't know what I'm going to do. She's going to come down here and attack Tyrion with Malekith. With Malekith, that's guaranteed. Unfathomable. So we were unfathomable. Okay, with that guy as well, why not? <laughs> Added soldiers. Bit more income. <coughs> there we go. So, in terms of our traded goods, where are our elven trinkets here? We're making 1800 from them. And that is the highest one we're making. Yeah, it tends to be. When you play as the high elves, it's, it tends to be that is the highest. Because of the fact that you can literally just go to um, any settlement and make a bunch. You don't have to find specific uh, resources. What's that? Oh, it's just an elven colony. This location is a site of an ancient high elven colony. It increases. Oh, right. Oh, yeah. The elven colony down here, all of their settlements are like that, I think. Pretty sure all of theirs are like that. <coughs> Depend on where Malekith moves. Depends on where... Oh, yeah, he's right there. He, he wants to scrap Tyrion. <laughs> he wants to get beat again. This guy just wants just wants smoke constantly. Why? Just why? I don't get why. <laughs> There's just you gain. Ah, oh, oh, this she actually annoys me. This these lot, this vampire coast faction just really gets gets to me. I don't. I'm not sending Giggle Iron back. I'm gonna. I'll literally leave her to take it on, then I'll come wipe her out with five armies in a minute. I genuinely do not care about this little area. It was nice to have. It was a little staging ground, but so what? <laughs> I'm down to lose it. Alright, um, part of me is tempted to put the, embed these in a uh, Giga Lion's army. <coughs> There's Malekith. I think I'm going to move you back down this way. Tyrion, I'm going to start bringing you over to the Temple of Cain. Reason being, I don't want to fight Malekith's army with the garrison support. Both of these armies, Tyrion's army could probably take right now. I just don't want that garrison to be supporting it. To be fair as well, I could probably do with moving Giga Lion up here as well. I'm probably butchering his name, but it's fine. <laughs> We're going to go for this as well. Try and take this area. <coughs> Try and further our little foothold up here. Start moving him up. As a bit of added support. <laughs> do that. Let's go recruit Lord. Fire. Do that one actually, that's pretty good. <coughs> because they've got a lot of gunners and I, d I think the Eagles will be able to do pretty well against gunners. Oh, they're probably going to go for that first to be fair, that and then this, but I'm happy for them to go against, as long as they go against that eventually I don't mind. Um, let's go for this. Building upgrades, yada yada yada, no one cares. You call Alario the Radiant. Mm. Mistress of the Welcome We can the do that, that's Queen's actually Oh, actually then. In that case. Um how do I do it? I bid you welcome. <laughs> no, it's not there, it's this one. How do I do it though? There we go. Request army. No, I need so much more and it's not even a good army as well. Where's that? Wait, where's her other army gone? She had two full stacks and I don't know where one of them's gone. 
Yeah, to be fair, it's probably been killed by uh, Nakara over a. Uh... Voice is really weird. <laughs> Alright, um, yeah. Let's do that. End turn there. <laughs> turn 69, beautiful. We're going on to 70. To be fair, I don't think I've ever seen such a strong Nagarond. <coughs> when I played my um, Avalon campaign, Nagarond was, um, it literally, uh, Malekith only had Nagarond. The dwarves were like smacking everybody. Uh, Kislev over here was smacking everybody. <coughs> um, that vampire coast thing was smacking everybody until I came along. <coughs> um, Malekith literally just had that. I think he had Nagarond, and then maybe like, <coughs> I think it was Nagarond, Temple of Cain, and this. That's all he had. He had nothing else. Alright, here we go. We're going to start coming for these lot. <laughs> Who's this? There's Malika. He's on his own to be fair. So I mean we could. Could give him a quick 1-2 left hook. Kill them. Do that. <laughs> there we go. <coughs> Upgrade this as well. Why not? Kragroth keep. Where's that? Oh that's the one she's getting. That's fine. <coughs> I'm going to bring Giggle Iron closer. Tyrion, let's... What can we give you? A bit more in he Elven healing, maybe? No, we'll do that. Lightning, uh, The Lightning Strike one's overpowered. Um, We'll do that. Because I think <laughs> Malekith uses quite a few spells. Or at least his spellcasters do. <coughs> You know what, I reckon we just do this. Let's uh mark out and merge them all. Merge the units collected. Their remaining force. Do, 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 do. So I can merge them. I can merge them. I don't know what happened there. I must have clicked the wrong one or something. <coughs> there we go, get rid of them. Now we should be fine. Um Tempted to send Gigaline here to hold off this army so this army can't do anything. They. They at war with them? No, they're not. That's kind of annoying. If they were at war with them, that would have been ideal. <coughs> uh, Alright, that's fine. She's really annoying. She needs to shop. Uh, Alistair, attack with that. He loses them, but I, I didn't expect them to survive long anyway. I'm surprised they survived this long. While we're here as well, might as well recruit a couple more. There we go. Can we recruit anything else in one turn? I think just archers in it, yeah. We'll go for it though. We'll take it. <coughs> you, let's give you... Um, this one. Make him a bit beefier. And then he should be in a good place now to, start take, it, to take this next turn. And then we've basically got them trapped in. Except for obviously these directions, but that's fine. Do they hold settlements up here? Because that's going to be really annoying. Because we take quite a bit of attrition up in the uh, in these lands. I think there's a settlement here somewhere. So there's this one, this one. Yeah, we should be fine. I think they own literally one there. That's Nagarond. Nagarond. Oh no, that's the faction. Never mind. <laughs> I, I was reading it like, wait. Ah, yeah, that's fine though. Um, do we have this one yet? One turn and we'll, we can do that. That's fine. <laughs> I'm happy to do that next turn. I hear the good day. <laughs> Should we make another army? We could. Kindle flame, more into five all. Could make another one. Maybe only make it ten for now though. Where's this army? There they are. <laughs> Carry on bringing him up. Confederation yet? Maybe. Maybe I get lucky. Nope. Still not lucky. No, I don't really care for either of you. She's really, she's still really getting on my nerves. <laughs> I'm gonna need this army here anyway to beat these lot off. Not beat them off, beat them back. Ha! Ah, I didn't say anything. <laughs> to be fair, whole text column isn't that bad of a um, garrison. It's not that bad of a garrison there. To be fair. 
Nestorians decree. All right, we're gonna go slap them up in the next turn or two. Do growth. There we go. End the turn. Oh, Alario. What are we saying? You know what? You know what, love. You know what? We'll do. I'll do. I'll do you a good, good deal. Twelve hundred. Yeah. So that makes you a little bit happier with me. Why are you losing? Oh, because we had treaties with them, and also we're a high threat apparently. Well, that's not a good way to a good thing to uh, disagree me on. Wait. Ten plus nine. Okay, that makes sense, never mind. I was trying to wear that out of my head, I was like, wait. How are you losing when it says 190, but then I realise that's not actually the number that it's counting. That's just our current total or something, I don't know. They cannot Slap you lot. <coughs> I'm just trying to increase the relationship, because it might make them slightly more likely to actually... Join me in confederation. I'll be real, the Tyrian campaigns took a lot longer than um, Alarial's, uh, not Alarial, um, Eltharian's. And I don't know if it's meant to. <laughs> Starts in a Tyrian round. Send you up as well. I will share my experience. Tyrion, heir of an Embed heir. all of these in. The winds <laughs> are rising. We've got two the full armies right here. I don't think he's really going to try and fight us, but he might. You never know. Two pretty decent armies as well. That's an entire sister of Avalon sack, essentially. Um, yeah, you <laughs> take this. They're not really going to do anything. They're not going to take any of our settlements, I don't think. So that's fine. Um. Yeah, you your arm is just getting weaker and weaker as time goes on, so that's fine. <coughs> to be fair, it's all that garrison, but is what it is. <coughs> it's getting lower. I mean, we're getting closer to uh doing it at twenty five. Not bad. Champion of the lady. Champion of the lady. God damn. Big up, guys. Got that like hundred percent risk. Top quality. Uh, do that one more, there we go. Alistair, can you... <laughs> yeah, we'll start moving him around to there, I reckon. <laughs> and I am going to perform this. There we go. Because <laughs> now he could take that, and then he can come around and take the that one up there. <laughs> That's a Norska clan there, yeah. <clears throat> And then I'm probably going to use her army to try and take this one here. Or Alistair, it depends. We'll see what happens. See who's closer at the time. Probably be Alistair, to be fair. Um, Kindle Flame. Ready for order. No mercy. I kind of want Malekith to come and attack us, but he's just not going to do it. He wouldn't dare, because he knows he's going to get smoked. Um, I'm trying to think what to get. Where te technology it's... I need this. Which is a f tier 4, you know, we'll get that. And then for a little bit of added economy, why not just grab one of them? Might as well. Might as well. <coughs> there we go, there's another one. We've got that that uh, settlement now. We've just literally got four settlements to take. I reckon that can literally be done in the next two, three turns. Shouldn't take us too long at all. This Nagarond, I'm going to be honest, isn't going to be that hard. Yes, they have a decent garrison. Yes, they've got an entire uh, 20 stack in there. But they're going against Tyrion, who's just stupidly overpowered. And a full stack with him. And then another full stack. In total, three fire dragons. A bunch of sisters of Avalon. A bunch of archers. 
Fire Mage, Heaven's A Mage, Noble. Yeah, he's not going to hold for long. Worst comes to worst, even if it says that we lose that. I'll just wait till Alistair comes down and then it's it's good game in it. We'll build that for now. Can I? Do I have enough to take one of your armies? I do. It's not a good one, though, no, so it's not actually useful. I was gonna say I'd lose it. I'd get. I'd literally go walk it into a flame. We'll let it get eradicated. Because that way, she'll be weak enough to where maybe I can just turn around and say, "Join me now, or I basically annihilate you," and she won't really be able to say anything against it. I mean that's worth it. <laughs> that's a loss I'm willing to take. That's not nice though. <coughs> I don't know if he had the uh, garrison of Nagarond. If he did, then this is gonna make taking Nagarond really easy. If he didn't, it's still gonna get wiped out in the next turn or two, so it's fine. <coughs> Giggle Iron's gonna have to come back down here and take this, as long as his army's like strong enough to do so. Which right now I don't know if it is. Oh, that's finally gone, thank god. Took a while. Your word. Your orders. Kill Goliath. <coughs> Alright, no, he, the, he didn't have the garrison backing him up. That's fine though. We can just hold there. Kill them. Uh, you. <laughs> um. Might as well upgrade them as well, since we've got so many um, Sisters of Avalon. <laughs> Send you there. In circle. Likely is I'm not going to actually even fight that. I'm going to end up pulling them back. Actually then. I'm going to come stand here and try and help him out. You, I'm going to pull you back. Withdraw. Reason being, of the king. <laughs> apparently I can't do that. Let's do it. Can I not? Why can't I move? Are oh, you? That's really annoying. Can I encamp? Yes, I can. There we go. Still can't do it. Never mind. Never mind. We'll do it next turn, hopefully. Um. Move. There we go. I'm going for the dragon one. Yeah, and we're going to go for Elven Healing. <coughs> um, you, what can we really do with you now? Bit of rolling skies and that. You, replenish the whole way. Blade Master, bit of Valor. Uh, burning Head, Kindle Flame. Evasion, Flame Storm. There we go. And yeah. That turn's probably going to be over again. Not really much else I can do. I need to make sure I move this guy because he might come in handy. <coughs> Alistar. <coughs> destroy this. And then we'll have to make sure that uh, this is, um, Avalon doesn't want to join us. See whether they do or not. Or not. There we go. Now they've literally got four settlements to take. Or four settlements left. And we've got a decent number of armies up here, so we should be fine. Yeah, this is the problem. Now that she's just destroyed both them, um, both of the factions here, she's just going to start getting stupidly strong, stupidly fast. Or she might not, actually. Maybe she won't. Ideally, she doesn't, but see what happens. Um, this. Still can't take it. I want that army there, because that, that would do damage to her. Let's just say that. I could literally just go and send it over here and disband the whole thing or something. If I could do that, I don't know if I can. I see the, I see the crystal rain but drops fall, and the beauty of it all is when the sun comes shining through. Alright, um. That. End turn. Next turn should be when we take uh, Nagaron. We're gonna see though. I don't get why you're doing that, mate. But okay. Gilgalion. Pull him back for now. I mean, we've got a second army coming to help him anyway, so it don't really matter. <laughs> I can I can deal with uh, waiting another go. Uh, 
in the air now. There we go. Uh, send you there. Send you to attack. And circle. The vortex calls. How far can you get? Literally right there, so that's fine. <laughs> Do that, I don't really care. There we go. <laughs> They've both gained a little bit. Um, To be fair, you have quite a few dragons in your... Yeah, you have two dragons in there, so that's fine. Um, Burning head. Cascading fire cloak. He's actually got the better dragon now, I think. The star dragon or whatever it is. Yeah. Sick. You can I actually get you through to here. No, I can't. Oh, that's annoying. Why can't I? I can't even get through because of them. 48% chance. Can you do it? Has she done it? Oh, it's a failure, for God's sake. Shield against the darkness. Even less chance, screw that. Assassinate, no, it's not gonna work. They've legit just blocked me in. Oh, successful, oh, we killed him. But he still can't go for it. No, what am I doing? No, wait. Select Tyrion, what are you doing? There we go. Okay, oh, excuse me. Oh, never mind. I'm daft. No, it's not. I still can't go for it. No, it's really irritating. It's got me stuck in a really annoying position. It's fine, though. Um, Do that. Continue siege. Can you join? Yeah, it's going to take you a turn, but you can. Same as you. Move you around here. Full speed Can I get you a little bit faster? You can hold there for now anyway. You're Defend not really going to help us too much throne. in your current state. Um, any confederation? No, let's just get further and further away from wanting to do it. Which is a bit annoying. The, uh, the, her voice actually kind of grates on me now. There we go. Damage buildings, fix them. <laughs> We've done that. It's literally just finishing these lot off now, and they've got three settlement, three yeah, three settlements left. They'll have this one. They'll lose next turn. Hopefully, they'll lose this one next turn, and then that should be fairly easy. Of the Ever -Queen. What's your garrison like? If the garrison's not, yeah, we'll, we'll use both just to be safe. Imminent rebellion. Ugh. What we'll do then is <coughs> put her in there. Um, same concept, but we'll do one on one. There we go, burning head, that should be fine. Commandments, here we go. Go for growth. <laughs> don't think there's anyone we could do anything with. Oh, that's fine. End turn then. In that turn there. That should be fine. It's gonna put him in that stupid place again, innit? For God's sake, did it? Wait, wait, the Tyrion's disappeared. He's entered the Shadow Realm. Oh wait, no, is that him? No, he's not. That's a different army. Oh no, yeah, it's putting me straight back in that stupid place. For God's sake. For God's sake. Maybe if I besiege Nagarond with her, it might change a little bit. No thank you. <laughs> They're quite strong and I'm not currently wanting to focus on them. And I don't fancy losing half my land to them either. Gonna send him there. So let's. Oh wait, no, Tyrion's over here now. Oh, wait. 
Oh, he's on the right side. Okay, that's fine. Let's <laughs> send you. Send you. There we go. Um, I can get both of these, which is good. And now, yeah, I reckon we attack there. Send her up as well. We'll do that. Continue siege. To be fair, I could have won before with Tyrion. I could have literally just one man armed it again, but it's fine. Can you not assist then? Should be impossible. That is what it is. We'll see what happens. Ulfwan. Protector of Ulfwan. Right, let's destroy this. I think they've made a black arc as well. I don't know where they've made it, but I think they've made one. I think that's what I just said, wasn't it? Oh, it'll soon be summoned, so next turn it'll probably come out to play. But that should be fine. High mage, Please don't have a massive armor. Tower. I still don't know, she could be up here. Let's do that. Um, quick deal. <coughs> we'll do that, actually. Do that, there we go. Um, that's fine. <coughs> um, what else can we do? You. We can do you, apparently. That's fine. We'll leave that. End the turn. 75. We'll probably end up finishing it by 78. I keep saying every other turn, oh yeah, we could probably finish it in the next two turns, but then it, it never happens. Something, a spanner gets thrown in the works. Tyrion can't apparently fight. And yeah, retreat. We're not fighting that. That's not happening. We ain't winning, so there's no point. <laughs> we'll probably send her back to the capital. The provincial capital that I just hold there for a while. None of these want to confederate. It's kind of annoying me now. Oh, they've been destroyed. Goddamn. <laughs> um, yeah, let's send her back here. There's no point sending her out, to be fair. Not just yet, anyway. 30. Yeah, no point. Leave it. Uh, <coughs> Gilgaline can destroy them. There we go. That is fine. He might even be able to just about get into this battle here. Oh my god, no way he actually gets in. Yeah, I'm not even going to fight it. I'm going to let him let him do it. Let him go. Let Tyrion do what he's doing. Assassin all of these up this way. They could be joined by Alistair as well in a sec. I wanna, yeah, we'll just send you there, it's fine. The I reckon Tyrion can just sit back and relax now. He's he's literally carried this campaign on his shoulders the whole time. Even though it is his campaign, there's been times where our army should have done good, hasn't done good, and Tyrion's had to essentially just 1v a thousand and somehow comes out on top. Don't know how it happens, don't know how he does it. He's just built like a truck. What can I say? Tyrion is just genuinely overpowered. No word of a lie. <laughs> Start getting ready to move that way. And then literally Nagron should be dead in the next turn or two. Hopefully ne the next turn. Except for that army. That army needs to go. One sec. We're going to start hunt hunting these like down. Um, <coughs> Woundmaker, why not? Unassigned skill. Potential energy. Building upgrade. Get that thing. Upgrade this as well and that. Upgrade that. We're somehow only now starting to get towards military advancements three. Because I'll be real, I just have not cared about it this entire time. <laughs> That'll be fine though. Was I researched some of that? I think I was researching that, but it's fine. Get them. Um <coughs> get walls there. Upgrade these. Commandments. Uh, growth. And end turn, apparently. I didn't actually 
mean to press that. I thought he was saying I needed to do another commandment, but oh well. Oh bloody hell, this campaign is legit took like almost six hours I think. Wait no, let me try to work it out so that'd be Yeah, legit almost six hours. Which is kinda crazy in my eyes. Not really to be fair. Actually the um <laughs> the Alfarian one, I feel like that was slightly easier because everyone that we needed to fight was basically right there from like turn one we were near all of them even though you could make a case and say <laughs> the ones that were here well no these the ones that spawn here our first enemy they're right next to us these aren't stupidly far they're kind of far but not stupidly far it's Nagaron that's the problem like ge genuinely this is where my main military power comes from low turn down here if I want to get an army up here it legit takes about 10 turns to even get them up close to it Might as well send you as well. Like box them in. Prime for action. Carried. There we go. Alistair can take the last one. <laughs> Have we got it? Let's see. Seek bloody vengeance. Apparently not. Very confused. Very, very confusion. Oh, it's that army, for God's sake. Tyrion. I, I want Tyrion to do it. I'm going to be honest. I, I kind of want to get Tyrion to do it. Let's see if uh, the game will allow it or if they're just going to go on and start attacking each other. There we go. I didn't even realise this was such a bloody, like, strong settlement. Um, leave it that. I'll build something else there next turn. From what I understand, they're not going to be able to move now. Um... Might as well do one or two while I'm, because I'll probably end up playing this by myself anyway. I, I'm very tempted to bring all my armies here and just have one last thing with all, one last hoo-ha with all my armies, or all the main ones that kind of made it, made this happen. It's gonna take Alistair a couple turns to get down here though, which is a bit annoying. Yeah, I'll probably end up just doing it next turn. Whatever armies we can get there, we can get there, but it's fine. Do that. <coughs> He's not gonna be able to get. Yeah. It'll probably just be next turn. Here we go. Uh, income, faction wide, end turn. <laughs> Looks like 77 is the turn. It's good, by the way. Doesn't look like it's lagging or anything. Oh, thank you, dear. Sanka, Sanka. When, when I've ended my turn, it, it probably will look like it's lagging a bit, reason being. <laughs> it's, um,. Well, I'm fast forwarding it, but as long as it looks alright when it's <laughs> just playing. Why are you declaring war? Sod off. Just genuinely sod off. <laughs> nope, Alice still looks like staying up here anyway. I don't think I'm, I can justify moving Alistair down now because Valkyrie, or whatever she's called, has decided to start coming for me. Yeah, it looks okay, by the way. Oh, does it? Yeah, just pop up out of nowhere and just speak. No warning at all. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll be doing that a lot. Yeah, to be fair, dude, it's towards the end now. <laughs> Literally, last army, oh, and I'm done. Uh, Once I just my elbow on my cactus. <laughs> Once this final army is dead, it's it's done, and he li the army literally has nothing. Uh, like, I'll be real, they have well, five, and I'm gonna send Tyrion to do all of it on his own because he can. This has took well, almost six, six hours, you know. Watching, so do I. Oh, yeah, right. Six I hours of bloody... Well, not in it a row, luckily. Quite a while, isn't it? I, yeah, I'm just happy it wasn't all in a row. If it was all in a row, that would have killed me. I know. <laughs> You'd be dead. I'm happy I took a break That's yesterday. Like we mm. I'm I know. Happy, yeah. Oh. Right, I'm going again. No worries, love. <laughs> in a bit. Yeah, let's finish off this final army. It's not going to be hard at all, like, let's be real. <laughs> Pull all of these back here. Those reinforcements are going to get here anytime soon, but it is what it is. <coughs> Air of 
Tyrion's getting rushed straight in. We're going to literally buff the hell out of him. Is there, you don't really do anything that buffs. Neither do you. It's literally just you. That's fine, though. Yeah, because I could keep her pretty far back, though, to be fair. <laughs> keep use here. Probably get to bring the dragon up just a little bit, just in case. Maybe then. I don't know why, just in case. Not like we're going to actually, like, lose. Even if, even if the on the off chance that Tyrion loses, <laughs> like we've got, we've got three other armies coming, two of which that are basically full stacks, and then one slightly smaller one. <clears throat> These are really annoying. I can't lie. Where's the fire one? Throw one of them there. Throw one of them there. Literally annihilate that unit. You three, go and smack that guy. <laughs> Tyrion's finishing this off. Yeah, go on, move forward a little bit. Need to hold there, they'll stay there. Yes, there we go. Good hit. Solid hit, mate. Throw that there. <laughs> Tyrion can finish these off. I don't know what this does, but it's fine. We'll use it. <laughs> Dread Spears finish these off. Yep, it's Gilkalion. Right at the end. <laughs> Sorted. That should be all of Nagarond. I don't think they have anything else. And there was that there was that message about the Black Ark, but I, I don't think it ever actually got summoned. God damn. She, the only reason she did more damage was because of the Burning Head. Burning Head legit just wiped out an entire arch unit in the most perfect condition. Like the conditions were just set perfectly for it. <laughs> Proverb meaning drowned. Swimming with Manan. Swimming with Manan. Proverb meaning... So that, that means drowned. So it's like swimming with the fishes. But swimming with the fishes is just dead essentially. Oh, who knows? Who cares? Who knows? It's fine. <laughs> Part of me should have waited until all armies were there and just bum rushed them with everything, but it's fine. It is what it is. Literally off stream when I'm like bored and I just want to replay this campaign. All of these armies are just going to go and smack the uh, vampire coast. <laughs> they survived? Excuse me, what? Where's Tyrion? Can't, we can't allow that. We cannot allow that. <laughs> I'll just auto resolve this one. We beat them. It's done. Short victory. Where is it? Give it me. Where we at? Where we at? It's not. There we go. Short victory achieved. Thank God. Who? And just to think, she. This character. This is it. Her? No. She's been with us since the start, along with, with obviously Tyrion, but she's literally been there since the start and we didn't get her killed, which I'm very surprised about. <laughs> Mad. Okay. Yeah, well, that's that, guys. That's the uh, Tyrion campaign over, at least. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you like, comment, share. Follow on Twitch, subscribe on YouTube, and I'll say I'll catch you in a second because I've still got to do this because my Windows button doesn't work still. Uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Hope you all enjoyed. Have an amazing day. Thanks so much for watching and goodbye everybody.